Hey there guys, welcome back to another sex review. My name is Simon and here we have today is the Moto G. There's a few variations of the Moto G, so I will specify that this review is of the Moto G X1032. Now this phone has been around for a little while, but I thought I'd give it some limelight purely because it's a nifty little piece of kit. As you can see, this phone isn't massive, but it's quite chunky, weighing in around about 140 grams. If you're expecting something sleek and sexy, then you're probably better off looking at another phone. However, if you're looking for something that's a little bit sturdier and holds its own against some of the new phones, then look no further. It comes with all the usual features, power button on the right hand side and slightly below that with the volume controls. Charge port on the bottom and headphone port at the top. The speaker is on the back of the phone, so when you're watching a video it might get smothered by your hands. It has a replaceable back as well if you're into that sort of thing where you can change it for a large amount of colours. You'll also find the SD card port slot is underneath the back panel. On that note, you can get these in two different memory sizes, 8GB or 16 It comes with both the front and back camera, considering that you're on a budget, this is great. It has a 5 megapixel camera on the back, which is able to produce some pretty decent pictures and has a decent flash as well. The front camera is 1.3 megapixels, which hits most standards of modern day phones today anyway. Both can record in 720p. The screen size is roughly around about 5 by 2.5 inches and displays at 720p with a whopping 326 ppi. That's a pretty decent amount considering that most tablets aren't able to produce that amount. The phone retails on Jelly Bean 4.3 but is upgradable to KitKat 4.4. Now, this comes with a slightly older graphics card and chipset. It comes with a Snapdragon 400 with a quad core of 1.2 gigahertz accompanied by an Adreno 305 GPU, which isn't bad. You won't be running the best games of all time, but you won't need to. It will still run most things 100% and give you the ability to multitask and interact with your phone in a timely manner. Apart from the back casing being able to be pulled off, it doesn't have a removable battery. That is very much still containing a 2070 milliamp battery. That being said, this thing lasts a decent amount of time, as it doesn't have that much to do. Imagine having your old Nokia phone that somehow just keeps going and going and going, and you've got the Moto G. I honestly believe that its appreciation will come the older it gets, but if you need a more robust phone, and I'm not particularly interested in doing all the extra, you'd be quite happy with it just being efficient, then try the Moto G. That's all for this review guys, by all means please check the website for availability costs and trade-ins at www.webuy.com or pop down to your local store for more information.